Hello guys, welcome back. Scotty Senior here again. Try number three this time at the Nurburgring 24 hour. Let's hop on board and see how this one goes. The in this one, it has put us out on qualifying. I thought it wasn't the glitch; it was our own mistake, if I remember correctly. And we had to qualify on the hard tire. We got a reasonable lap. I think we were um, around about 820, which is reasonable for me on the hards, but it is only good enough for 15th place. Let's see how this one goes. As I've said in the last two tries, this is for sure. We'll get a couple of wee bumps around the first corner, but we've survived it. This was the four most enjoyable, intense races that I have had on this game yet. After making the first two, there haven't been the best videos for me to commentate on. It is a bit of a follow the leader track, but for intensity and, and feeling nervous, having to focus and concentrate, really, really enjoyable. So we're holding on, we've got ourselves back up in the, the top 15. The door number on this one is number 17. So we're in the first two races, must have improved us slightly because we're wearing a bigger number each time. We started the day with a number seven, we got seventh. Our second try was a number 12, we got 12th. And now we've got a number 17, so a very good room for us in order to try and improve. Lots of opportunities here to make huge improvements in our level because the number is so big. If we can put ourselves forward. And we've got a casualty of the war on that one. Up into the top 14. Three spots. Better than the number on the door. And with a real poor qualifying. Also, I think a good qualifying. We were capable of getting um, up into that top 3 to 5. There was a pole position lap now of, uh, I want to say, an 816, which we hadn't, we hadn't got down to. We had done two 819s, although each with lots of time lost somewhere. So we kind of felt like if we were to get a perfect lap for us now, it would maybe be a, around the 14. To 15. Still just fours on this track. More about the consistency and not dropping a wheel. And that is easier said than done. Pressure still right there behind us as well. I'll give a bit of this here angle another popular angle and keep an eye behind you. Mm, I'll do slightly defensive there, Mr. Cloud.
And we've got a penalty ahead of us. Quite happy at this stage. We're able to save. We're able to save. Able to save. I can almost book proper England. We'll get there eventually, gentlemen. We're able to save. A nice bit of fuel here. Because we're all in the train. A lot of positions up there ahead of us. And again, entering that corner, slightly defensive, just to try and discourage anyone behind us from going for a lunge. And do we do the same on the way into this one? We'll do slightly just to put him off. And again, we're not going anywhere, we'll get that up into sixth gear. And someone's dropped away, Mr. Grumpy Mutina. So we're up in the top 13, another bargain. Came on offer. Not needing to make any, any moves yet, really, at all on this lap. The moves have came to us by way of mistakes. And again, we're looking very good for fuel on this first lap. It, it was basically a fuel saver the whole way. And up into seventh, nice and early. I've still got Mr. Cloud behind us. Hopefully we are protected because we're in the slipstream ourselves. Well, he pulls out. He, he shouldn't really. Have the speed to get past us. Back on board. And I see we're lifting, we're coasting. More fuel saved. Um, you just have to hope in this situation that the people behind you are nice, patient racers also. We are thinking to ourselves here, is there a chance, is there a possibility here? Any bargains about to come on, on offer? But they don't. And what does happen is Mr. Alex Ghost comes out of the pits and is behind us. And we think to ourselves, we're going to let Alex by, but we have a feeling Alex is out on on, on cold hards after he doesn't really get a run on us. We do lose a bit of time worrying about Alex for a while. But we're still just a bit clinging onto the slipstream at the moment.
and a top 10 in this race would have been a good result considering we're number 17 on the car it'll be an improvement it'll take us forward into better rooms and Alex dropping off a bit there and picking himself up a penalty so we're now able to start looking ahead of us again we're not worrying that much but we do know that Alex has come out of the pits so his tires will be fresher perhaps he's out on, on cold hards and just having a, a bit of a struggle to get them up to temperature Still plenty of cars in front of us to keep us fully focused and hope for some kind of wee mistake or someone to get impatient and to try making that move. I was jump outside, Alex starting to make his way back up to us. The tires heating up, kicking in. Oh, and he's dropped a wheel there again behind us. Back on board. You see, we'll skip back and show you that someone's went off onto the grass. He's come back on with a lack of a lack of drive, Mr. Dimitri Lime. And he's dropped down two spots. Will Alex get him also? We'll keep an eye behind and go in this corner. We threaten another one up the inside here. But we're always in full control. Up in the ninth. Everything going to plan for us at the moment. Alex has made his way up behind his night and we spat we spat that we'll see that Alex's tires are clearly up to temperature because he's he's all the words at this stage he does have that we half second of a penalty but we will I suspect be thinking to yourselves Alex at the moment is basically our very own personalized rocket launcher we can pick him up anytime we want set him on the shoulder and launch him straight ahead and see what damage he can do because he has more pace than the rest of us here it's just a matter of finding somewhere where we're not going to lose any time and the fact that he has that penalty the closer we get around the penalty zone we're not going to want to hand it over to him just yet as someone drifts off and we're up into the top eight and there's Alex as shown as a nose but keeping his patience
intense reason just even watching it on replay not a lot to commentate on as I say not a lot of passing or anything but a hugely intense enjoyable race to be involved in by far I never see we make a small mistake and we'll lose no time we had already made that mistake so we decided right then and there to put Alex rocket launcher precision and shoot him at these guys and see if he can get up there before we'll get round to the penalty zone have a look in behind us at this point we've got a wee bit of a gap needing to, needing to stay in this slipstream but I'm going to try to go out and go by Alex, but as you can see, he has a VDK teammate in front of him. They must be on the make, speaking that sexy French, bounce away, boom boom teammate, zoom zoom, and they do not allow the beetle a sniff of it whatsoever. And this should be our pitting lap. Others coming into the pits in front of us. So Alex has already done the pit. And a key in. Look at that beautiful livery. Thank you ever so much, Mr. Tom, for all the labors you've been doing. Outstanding. Back out of the pits, and we're down to 10th. But we're on the medium tyres, we're meant to be fast at this point of the race, this is where we're meant to be at our fastest, we've overfueled it slightly, so as we can rev it out, which I'm not sure now, if it was the best thing to do or if it, if it wasn't, I think maybe we've got a bit unfortunate in at least one of the races, not sure if it's the next one or if it's one of our rally done there, but we got a bit unfortunate spending a wee second too long in the pits and dropping back a couple of spots. If I had I just took slightly less fuel and drove the car sensible, would have, would have still made it home, no problem, but would have been ahead around the big folly the leader section of the track which is basically all, all of the track there's n not many places to pass on this track at all we've got Mr. Lime behind us no doubt wanting a wee number 10 spot a top 10 who knows what Mr. Lime's team will throw for him for a top 10 our team doesn't really do nothing for a top 10, they just give me a wee pat on the back and say good job. But there's certainly no parties. Pit parties are for top 5s. Closing up on Magma. Can we get a move done?
And we'll surely stay to the inside and threaten one, just to see if we can make him miss time his breaking and drift out a wee bit. Starting to close up on others in front of us. There's a top seven up ahead. A top six just ahead of him. And the pressure must be starting to mount up behind as it is indeed Mr. Lime is right there and I so the three of us all trying to get back into <coughs> the slipstream of these other three and we're, we're almost there. And someone's ghosted out and there we go that's a top nine for us. With the top six still just up the road. And we are thinking to ourselves, we have plenty of fuel. Who's going to start struggling along this big ass street on the last lap? Who's going to start panicking and have to win the leaner mixture just to make sure they get home? We know it's not going to be us. We've got the fuel to rev it out. We've had it back, we've thought about it, we've thought about it there. And we've backed out of that one. We could have threw absolutely everything away. <clears throat> Already making huge improvements to our DR rating in this. We are door number 17 and we're in the top 9 at the moment. And the two up ahead about to start battling by the looks of it. They're getting a bit twitchy. Oh they are. And no doubt Mr. Lime is still there. No, the pressure's off her ass now. Fully focused. Well, what's ahead of us? And we've, we've lifted off there <coughs> again an opportunity that we've passed up looking at the, at the big picture well, we could have for sure had some kind of side by side action there and now we're asking the question who has the fuel gentlemen we know that we're revving it out till the end. And we asked the question of the guy up ahead. Is there any slipstream there? 
And no, it doesn't look like it. What about the guy behind? The guy behind is in the slipstream. Mr. Dimitri Lime is on his way back to the booth of us here. <clears throat> we dip back in, try and get another, another dig at it. We ask the question, would you like some side by side action, sir? We, we weren't ever going to go for that, but then uh, Mr. Lime knocks us on to the cross. Now, in fairness, Mr. Lime is about to slow down and give us that back, but we have dirty tires, and can you fucking believe that shit is a roundabout? What we were saying to ourselves, we could not believe that shit happened to us. We'll look at that one more time. Well, look at it from the outside. We haven't seen it from the outside view, so I haven't. We'll see how it looks from there. <clears throat> well, that's how it looked from there. Uh, you've seen absolutely nothing. We'll go on board, Mr. Lane. I think he's just, he's went over the curb and he's basically a passenger at that stage. And back to yourselves and dirty tires and a amateur move. My goodness. And pff, in the granny mode, in the reverse. That was <clears throat> a top nine. And we were in the battle. There was a top six. Not there for us, but we certainly weren't going to have a top six. But the battle was there. And it, again frustrating end to an absolutely awesome race